at the northeastern tip of North Korea, where the isolated, nuclear-armed country meets its giant neighbors China and Russia, United Nations sanctions on the regime over its weapons programs are having an impact. Eight sets of UN sanctions have been imposed on Pyongyang over its nuclear and missile tests, and things are unlikely to get any better after Wednesday's launch. And with the North possibly facing further sanctions following its ICBM missile test on Wednesday, things are unlikely to get any easier for traders involved with the remote region's Rasan Special Economic Zone, says. Rasan is one of Pyongyang's showpiece development projects, looking to exploit its geographical location between the borders with China and Russia, and the Pacific Ocean. Formally established in 1991, it was the first of its kind in the country and has only come up to speed in recent years, but officials are defiant about the setbacks. Foreign firms are given tax, visa, and legal concessions, they can set up wholly owned units, rather than joint ventures, to lure them to the says, as leader Kim Jong-un seeks to pursue a policy of bunjin, or simultaneous development, of both the economy and atomic arms. But eight sets of UN Security Council sanctions have been imposed on Pyongyang over its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. North Korean coal exports have been banned, leaving the material piling up on quaysides in Rasan, as have iron ore and seafood. The most recent resolution, passed in September after Pyongyang detonated by far its most powerful nuclear device to date, forbade trading in textiles and imposed limits on oil supplies to it. There is some impact, said Han Yu, deputy manager of the Chinese-owned Rasan Songsan Building Material Cement Plant. Many things can't be imported from China anymore because of the UN sanctions, in terms of the transfer of funds from both sides you could say it has been cut off. Beijing, Pyongyang's sole major ally, has long been accused of failing to enforce UN resolutions against its wayward neighbor, with US President Donald Trump constantly demanding it do more. But Han, aged 43, who comes from Tsingtai in Hebei province, next to Beijing, said China's actions had slowed development and construction in Rasan. This is affecting our sales, he said, with parts imports another problem. Because of the economic sanctions, so far this year we have only completed 70% of the output of last year. The company was seeking North Korean suppliers for the limestone and coal raw materials it has so far brought in from China, he said, and measures on oil and natural gas were affecting ordinary citizens. We see fewer vehicles on the road. A third of the cash invested in Rasan has come from North Korea and Kim Yong-nam, director of the city's Economic Cooperation Bureau, is looking to draw in more foreign money. Cho bong hyun director of the IBC Economic Research Institute in Seoul, said increasingly strong sanctions were likely to deal a big blow to the economy at Rasan. North Korea's plans for the development of these economic zones will be hard to carry out for now, he added.